Joining me now from Parkland, Florida, Sergio Rosenblatt, whose 15 year old daughter Alexandra is a sophomore at Stoneman Douglas High School, who was inside the school at the time of the shooting and texted her dad, calling him, uh, texting him to call 911. Mr. Rosenblatt, first of all, how are you doing and how is Alexandra doing today? She's having a very difficult time. She had a tough night. She's looking forward to the counseling and meeting her friends in a group, but uh, she doesn't talk much. She hasn't really broken out of her shock, her spell. So she hasn't shared, only shared a few things with us. And from the timeline that I've heard from other students who've spoken out, they were in there for more than an hour, huddled in closets, uh, using their phones, those who had phones. Describe what you know of what was going on then and what was going on with you then. After she called me, I uh, immediately went to the school. After she called me, I called 911. Immediately thereafter, I went to school. Uh, we couldn't get near the school. It had already been barricaded. I texted with her for the first 20 minutes, and then our communications were cut off. We did not speak again or text again until she came out of school. So there was a relief at the beginning that I knew she was okay, and that, that turned into real terror knowing or not knowing how she was. Her teacher had instructed the children to turn off the phones. I, can, I can't even imagine that. Uh, so you then hear later the governor and other officials, Senator Rubio today, saying that no laws would have prevented this. Your feelings about that? <laughs> oh, God. Here we go again. No laws. Tell me why we need an AR-15 to go hunting for protection. It's the weapon of choice. We live in a society, yes, I agree, we need safety or better safety in the schools. Yes, we need better mental health in the schools. But we need to, I don't want to take anyone's handgun. That's not for me to say. But the NAR-15, it's absolutely not relevant to anything we do as a society. Why don't we listen to law enforcement officials who are dead set against the use of these weapons and the sale of these weapons? We're still, they're still accepting blood money. Governor Scott, I heard President Trump today, and he didn't address the gun issue or the weapons issue. He addressed, and correctly so, better safety in schools, better health care. Well, finance it if it's better, you want better. You want to protect our kids. He said, you know, he gave this great speech about how wonderful kids come talk to us. We're here to help. No, you're not. You're not. You're, you're just 30 second clips. And when everybody picks up and goes here, what happens to those 17 families that are crying for their kids and their friends? What happens to those parents? You know, my daughter is, 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 is she, she's, she's almost innocent and she, She's not a victim in the sense of victim. The victims, the real victims, are those who are laying down, the parents that lost their kids. We shouldn't have to send the kids to school and worry about when they're coming back. But these are all sound bites. It's time to do something. It's time to you know, stop accepting blood money. You know, don't be beholden to the NRA. You work for us. You don't work for the NRA. It's we the people. It's not we the corporations of the United States of America. That's my point, and I'm frustrated, I'm angry. I'm angry for those kids, I'm angry for my friends, I'm angry for the tears I saw, I'm angry for the faces I saw. And you know, I, I apologize for running on, but I, I'm, I'm passionate about what happened here. But in two months, we're gonna be callous and we're gonna forget about this. That's the world we live in. Mr. Rosenblatt. So if Trump wants to do something, I, I'm sorry. No, go ahead, go ahead. And if President Trump really means it, show leadership. Do something. Do something. Come here. Now, don't come here and throw paper towels like in Puerto Rico. You know, the wall, the wall's not going to protect me. I'm not afraid of a Mexican invasion. I'm afraid of kids going into school with AR-15s and doing this again and again and again and again. And then we're all going to be here. Parents like I are going to be enormously hurt and annoyed and feel raw emotion. And then it's all going to disappear until the next clip. And that's my point. Do something. 
Stop talking. Rubio, grow some. Do something. Nelson, do something. The rest of Congress, do something. Until your kids get shot, then you're going to do something. Is that what it's going to take? I don't get it. This is not the America I came 50 years ago, and I love this country. I don't know this country anymore. I don't understand it. I don't know how to explain it to my kids anymore. I don't know what values are out there. And these kids are disenfranchised. Who are the heroes? A video game? Social media? Instagram? We've got a lot of work to do, but let's start doing something. That's all I recommend and I ask. Sergio Rosenblatt, Mr. Rosenblatt, don't apologize for your passion. Thank you for sharing your thoughts. Thank, Thank you, Ms. Mitchell. And, uh, Thank you for having we me. We really, well, we're thinking of you and Alexandra and all the other innocent victims because it's not only the, the dead and injured. Everyone has been victimized in your community by this.